At more than 7,300 yards, Dakota Dunes Golf Links is the longest course the PGA Tour Canada players will tee it up on all season. It's set up off the tee to visually in intimidate you. There's a lot more room off the tees than it looks like, but the way the bunkering set up and the way uh, some of the bushes are even set up, it, it, you don't really know uh, exactly where your landing area is. So I think it's probably the toughest part out here. The Lynx style layout is known as a wide open bomber's delight. That is, of course, if the wind doesn't act up. I love the golf course. It's scorable. You could have like a driver wedge on, on one or you could go driver, you know, six iron, depending on the wind. I think that's pretty unique about it. Direction of the wind and how windy it can get out here for sure. With the winds calm on Thursday and Friday, scoring was at a premium. Moose Jaw Saskatchewan's Danny Saul fired a bogey-free first round score of nine under par 63 to take a one-shot lead over the field. The wind laid down for us in the morning and uh, greens are perfect out there, so you hit the greens, and we've got a good chance for a birdie out here. There was an abundance of red numbers on Friday as well as South Africa's Jocko Allers held a two-shot lead over 2007 Canadian amateur champ Nick Taylor and fellow South African Doug McWiggan. Allers 16 under par total was just two shots shy of the PGA Tour Canada 36-hole record. I just hit the ball great. I haven't hit the ball great for a long time and just this week it just all came together. Hitting a few great shots, hitting a few good shots, uh, making a few putts, but predominantly I'm hitting the ball unbelievably. Inclement weather Saturday morning brought a four-hour delay to the third round. When the field finally got started, windy conditions made the playing difficult. In all, 38 of the 67 players who made the cut shot over par. Please welcome Nick Taylor. 25-year-old Nick Taylor battled those blustery conditions to take the lead by one shot. As the sun went down in Saskatoon, Taylor birdied four of the final six holes, including this bomb at the par 5 16th. The BC residents 567 was good for a one-shot advantage on the 36-hole leader Allers heading into the final round. I thought I hit it really well today. The front nine did a lot of good drives with all the, it was, the wind was up and a lot of holes and you know it was a foot or two in the rough and it was when it falls in the fairway it would have been a good chance to make birdie if, and, but I was just making pars. I hit it well on the back nine too and started making some putts so that was nice. After a T4 at the first event of the year and five consecutive Vancouver Golf Tour wins this spring, Taylor seemed poised to lift his first PGA Tour Canada trophy. By the time Taylor teed off in the final group on Sunday, a tightly packed leaderboard was getting that much tighter. Playing partners and fellow Americans John Ellis and Will Collins were making a charge. Six birdies on the front side vaulted Ellis into a tie for the lead with Taylor at 20 under par. Will Collins joined the deadlock at the top of the leaderboard with this birdie at the par 4 13th hole. A group behind, Taylor would also birdie the 13th minutes later, thanks to this delicate little second shot. The seesaw battle continued as Ellis once again tied it up with this birdie at the par 3 15th. Collins would answer at the very next hole, rolling it in from the fringe at the par 5 16th. Unfortunately for Taylor, an errant tee shot led to a bogey at the 15th hole, leaving only Ellis and Collins knotted at the top. A short approach into 18 resulted in a bogey for Ellis. A tap-in two-putt by Collins was good enough for a 600 par 66 and the clubhouse lead. Taylor needed a birdie to tie Collins to send the Dakota Dunes Open to a playoff, but his 35-foot birdie attempt slid by and it was Will Collins who would celebrate his first PGA Tour Canada triumph. It means a lot, it's not, it hasn't really sunk in yet. I've played out here since 2006 and I've never gotten a, a win out here. This win uh, could come at a better time for me. It was a great week.